Hi everyone, Corgelina here. Thank you so much for joining me today on another video. I figured that today I will show you all about how much I have been loving my new Diane. But before we get into that, let's get this out of the way. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for being here. If this is your second, your third, or you've watched all of my videos, I am so appreciative that you have decided to click here and join me once again. I am an extremely passionate teacher. I go live on the weekends for teacher content. So if you are one of those teachers here, thank you for being here. Uh, we, you probably know we are ready for the new school year. Everything is just starting to pick back up. I've been incredibly busy, but really enjoying all of the new things that are being thrown my way. But if you are here for the handbag content, those are the videos that I post twice a week. So this video is going up on Thursday. Yesterday, today's Wednesday, I'm recording this on Wednesday, right after work, before my master's class. Uh, so kind of trying to fit that in. Yesterday, the unboxing of this bag went live, but I actually recorded that unboxing last week and I have been in this bag the entire week. So ever since I moved out of that bag, I went right into this one. I switched out of it for a day or so because I switched into my coach backpack and I used that backpack uh, when we went to a theme park on Labor Day on Monday. Um, actually we went on Sunday, but Labor Day weekend, uh, we went to the theme park, I used the backpack, and then as soon as I came back, I switched right out of it. Still not really loving that backpack. I will go ahead and post the video of my woes with Coach and why I'm not really enjoying that backpack too much, but I did try to give it another shot and see how it worked out for me. Uh, same as before fuzzy and I didn't like it. <laughs> uh, but that's not what this video is about. Today is all about this cutie here. I know that I am going to have a really hard time switching out of it. Uh, one of the questions that came up on that video was how did I like the strap that it comes with? So I am gonna talk about this. I'm just gonna go ahead and hang this on my shoulder because it's super comfortable. I have the strap over here. Um, this strap is non-adjustable. It's a guitar strap. I know a lot of people don't like these. I am. I didn't, uh, I am. I do. <laughs> I did it at the beginning. I wasn't a big fan of them, but it only took me buying one of them to really, really fall in love with it. So now I love them all. <laughs> they are so incredibly comfortable. I know that they get dirty and that people think that it cheapens the look because they're not leather, um, but I honestly think that they look adorable on. That I've grown to really love them and they are just so comfortable. This one, however, is not adjustable. So there's no adjustment to it. I just happen to be really short. So this one works for me. I do have an adjustable one. I actually have two of them. One of them that I bought from Candy and then another one that came with my number four BB. Uh, and those two are adjustable and I love them. They work great. I wear them with other bags. This one I'll probably wear with this bag and the Speedy. It's a great shoulder, like long shoulder. Uh, but for me, it does work crossbody again and that's because I am pretty short. I'm only 5'2". Even though I'm heavier set, um, it still works well. It hangs nicely. I will try and get a picture of myself and where it hangs on me, but it does hang right at my hip. So I'm able to use this crossbody. So that was a question that came up. I think it really does depend on your height. If you are um, a tall person, this is probably not a good strap for crossbody wear because it's not adjustable. So you would need to either get an extender or find another uh, strap that is. However, these straps sell for over $600 on their own. I believe Candy sells them for 650. I don't know about the non-adjustable ones, but I mean, still quite a few hundred bucks. So you could always resell it uh, and get some money back for the bag. I will tell you that for this particular bag, my favorite way to wear it so far has been like that on the shoulder. It's just so easy, grab and go. Uh, it does not fall off my shoulder at all, so I didn't really need the crossbody. I am still hands-free, right? So no matter what, I'm hands-free with this one, even if it is just on the shoulder. So with that said, really, I think that's the major thing about this bag. I have been loving it for how easy it is to use. 
I love the versatility of being able to switch the straps off. Here is my uh, famous little strawberry. It's always there um, on everything I wear with my AirTag, uh, but this is super easy to open, unlike my coach bag. I will be doing a comparison video soon between this bag and the coach soft tabby. I do think they have a lot of similarities. This one is obviously a lot more expensive. I think the coach soft tabby is a great option. I just happen to have gotten a faulty one that I am unwilling to get fixed because coach is charging me an arm and a leg to fix this buckle. But this one, right, this buckle is really, really easy to open and it's still secure. Um, but on the inside, oh, look at this. It's like purple, blue, I don't know. It's, I think it's like a really dark purple. I absolutely love it. And if it's all my essentials, I have, I mean, nothing new. If you watched any of my other videos, really the last what's in my bag video that I made, uh, I just have the um, coach uh, zippy thing that I got from, um, oh my God, I forgot, from Lori. I keep forgetting her channel name, but I will link it down below. Um, Smiling Cats Couture, that's her channel. So Lori from Smiling Cats Couture, uh, I've talked about it. I ha actually haven't switched out of it. I'm really, really loving that, using it quite a bit. And um, I have my wallet. I did switch, I have a new wallet, but I also posted a video about this. Um, so I switched into this card holder that I got from Candy. Um, I love this thing, it fits so much. Look at how wide it opens. So I did switch into this one. It's compact and yet it packs such a huge, huge, huge punch. I have been wanting this since I watched it on Shay Whitney's channel a long, long time ago um, when she had it, but then it left the website. Um, then I have my keys, my photo album. Um, so really just the usual things that I carry. But if it's everything that I need and more, I have nothing on the zipper. I'm recording on my phone or I would show you, but the phone fits perfectly back here. This is where I've been carrying it. I just stick it in here um, and I've been using that with my phone there. And easy grab and go bag. I will be switching out of it probably this weekend. I'm going to give it a few more days. I am expecting those bags I promised from Candy. Uh, some of the ones that I switched out for that Chanel that I sold. Um, so once those come, I'll have that unboxing and I will explain what I sold. I just sent her some more stuff, uh, some SLGs that I'm not uh, using. I will talk about that on a video as well and why I decided to let those go. I did make sure to grab some images, some pictures of them before I sent them out to her so that I can talk about exactly what I let go and what I'm getting for that one. So at this point, I'm really enjoying letting go of what I'm not using and then buying something that I know I'm gonna enjoy and really keeping track of it. Let's see if that is actually what ends up happening. Do I use it? But I am only letting go of things that I am okay with letting go, that I know I'm not going to use or that have just been sitting. Uh, I am 100% here for that movement. I personally do not want things just to collect them. Um, I do 100% appreciate people that collect stuff. I, as you can see, I collect Legos. These are not cheap. Um, they're also very expensive when you create a collection and they serve that purpose of making me happy sitting here. I love looking at them. I like playing with them. Um, so, but with handbags, I only want handbags that I use. I don't want handbags to sit. Again, I appreciate the people that uh, love looking at them. There's a lot of value in something that brings you so much joy. I 100% I'm all for that, but that's not what I want out of my handbags. What I want out of my handbags is use, and that's what brings me happiness, to get to use them, to get to carry them, uh, how good it makes me feel when I add them into a particular outfit and things like that. So with that, that is the end of this video. I have nothing but amazing things to say about the Diane. If I had the budget, if I had the money, I this would be like my never full where, uh, cause I have multiple Neverfulls. Uh, or the Speedy, I have a couple, I have a few Speedies. The Speedies are all quite different though cause they're different sizes or right, one's a bandolier, the other one isn't. But the Neverfulls I have, it's the same exact bag, but just in different colors um, or different uh, leathers. I would 100%, I think this would be that bag that I would do the same thing with. It's that bag that I wish I could have in every color. I wish I could have it in monogram. I wish I could have it 
in uh, ba the baby blue color. Oh my goodness, the blue hour. So a hunt, if you have ever thought about this bag, it is an absolutely fantastic bag. I am a big, big bag type of girl through and through. I love, love, love large bags. I think this is a great compromise for that. Mini bags are really hard for me. I have a few, but those are for special occasions. This, I think this is a great in-between size. If you are a large bag lover like me, and then sometimes need to switch into something just a little bit smaller. So I am loving this one. I am confidently going to say this is a bag that will never leave my collection. You do see that I, uh, most of my bags I've had for quite a, quite a while and they have not left. So the ones that have left have a reason and I would have never said those are forever bags. They were bags that I tried. Uh, I try not to buy bags that I don't intend to keep forever. Uh, so again, I put a lot of thought into uh, where my money goes when it comes to these. So haven't given that much thought to my SOGs and that's why now they're starting to leave my collection. But yeah, I think uh, that's it. <laughs> so thank you so much for being here. This was kind of an awkward ending, but if you haven't hit the subscribe button below, please make sure that you do. I really wanna reach 1600 before the end of the year. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen anymore, but it would mean the world to me um, if I did. And just say hello in the comments. I always answer back. I can't wait to chat and I will see you on the next one. Bye.